in Pulwama area of Indian-occupied Kashmir on Indian military convoy is making headlines all across India, in which at least 40 Indian paramilitary soldiers have been killed. Like always, in an attempt to cover its military failure, India has yet again accused its western neighbor Pakistan of this attack, ignoring the fact that attack took place deep inside occupied territory where indigenous freedom movement is at its peak in response to unprecedented oppression and state-sponsored terrorism. But why does the world's second largest standing military force is so reluctant to explain its failure? Why always blaming Pakistan, with which, by the way, India shares a heavily fortified and well-guarded border, as has been the answer to all question. Let's take a look at this recent Pulwama incident. The attack happened deep inside the valley on a military convoy carrying 2,500 soldiers. Attack of this scale, with the amount of explosives and expertise, must have taken months to prepare. In such a highly militarized zone like the Indian-occupied Kashmir, how come it was never discovered? Why the convoy's route was not secured by the Indian military, knowing that the convoy is carrying over 2,500 of their own? Despite Indian media claims, there is no clear report of any rebel organization claiming responsibility. For how long Indian military will escape from such failures by pointing at its neighbors? Many analysts suspect that the incident was a possible false flag, something Indian establishment is known for and has been practicing in the past in an attempt to achieve its strategic